staying with my brother this weekend and helping my nephew do a bit of metal detecting. So I've had a good, you know, day yesterday. A lot of Britannias and I've got a florin and, you know, I wasn't really filming, I was just having fun. So, um, you know, had a great day. And then we're out again today. I'm just looking around these old trees here. I believe there used to be an old school nearby. Had a cracking signal here. And look at that. I think we've got a big silver. And I reckon that's a florin. And it's an old one too, so I'll give it a clean and I'll be right back. Now, she's not the easiest to read here, but we have got Florin, two shillings, 1917. That is absolutely brilliant. I hear my detector going off because there's, you know, power lines and stuff around. But there we go, George V. So, a little bit worn there, but that is absolutely brilliant. So, <laughs> that's got to be a good... That's my second coin for today. I found a one cent. So, not bad, not bad at all. And the only other thing I've found, if I can find where I put it in the bag, it's a big heavy bit of brass. So I don't know what that is, some kind of lid or something. Anyway, I thought it was a belt buckle coming up, but no, <laughs> she's a solid bit of brass. So anyway, let's see what else we can find. Well, I'm still looking around in this old, well, where there was a school. Somewhere around here, we're not sure exactly where, but I think we're in the right sort of general location. And under this wattle tree here, <laughs> at a 23, and you can see that in there. That looks like a, and if it'll focus, it'll be great, a, common last penny so get it to focus 1920 not 30 but 20 <laughs> so that's brilliant jolly good we'll keep going see what else we can find well we've got a 34 down here just under that bit of grass there and it's only one bar down so see what we get <laughs> We, are we lucky enough to get another florin? Oh, I'm a little bit doubtful, but we can always hope. Most generally pop up when you're not expecting them. No, I don't think we do. I think we've got a... Oh, it is a coin. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought it was a washer. A little eyelet thing. But that is actually a sixpence. So, I don't know why I was reading up uh, 34, but if it'll focus, that'll be great, won't it? There we have, probably see there, 1910. So that is, or will be, Edward VII on there. Um, tell you what, we'll give it a clean up, but that'll be the first Australian coin. Well, the first year they minted them. So, we'll give it a clean. There we go, looking a bit better now. Um, 9 and 10, sixpence. And there we have Edward VII. So, a little bit worn, but, you know, not bad, not bad at all. Jolly brilliant, I reckon. So, you know, sixpence are a nice coin. <laughs> you know, threepence are a nice coin, florins are a nice coin, shillings are a nice coin, but they're all just, you know, that bit different. So, I reckon a sixpence is a jolly nice thing. Got a 20 here, and we've got that one. So, it looks like a half penny. I'll have to give it a clean and see what it is. Being a 20, maybe it's a Commonwealth or even if we're lucky, a Britannia. But um, anyway, I'll give that a quick brush and we'll see what we've got. It's 
so back in well, there we go that is a 1903 britannia half penny and i reckon that's about as good as that one's going to clean up without scrubbing it to death <laughs> so you know it's a bit mucky but anyway still a cool find so that'll be you know king edward the seventh and jolly good see what else is around 23 here i've been going up and down and you know dug a few bullet casings and all that sort of stuff just you know bits of rubbish then had a beautiful 23 here can you see that little guy hiding there i reckon that's a penny so oh yeah commonwealth one and it looks in quite nice condition on that side actually give it a bit of a rub on the ground here see if we can find a date here uh, 1928 i think that is pretty sure that is so that'll look nice once to give it a clean up that side i'm guessing will be a bit less nice but anyway jolly brilliant so let's keep going well we're back out in the gold fields again not far from where i found that shilling so i'm gonna have another bit of a scout round that area in a bit and see if i've missed anything but you know just checking another you know bit of area see what signals are around and then i'll work my way over there but um just been digging little bits of melted aluminium and pool tabs and you know just bits of rubbish and then had a nine there and i thought oh yeah might be a button but starts with b but it's not button it's bullet <laughs> that's a 22 shell and hasn't been fired so someone's dropped it anyway um just dropped it myself <laughs> we'll keep going as you may be able to see it's going to keep dropping um just spitting a bit of rain it was raining quite steady before and i was sitting in the car waiting for it to finish and it's eased off so i've ducked out and hopefully it doesn't get too much wetter out here <laughs> otherwise i'll have to you know call it a day a bit earlier anyway see what else is out here and another little low grunty signal and there's another one <laughs> so whoever that was wouldn't have had much bullets left by the time they finished if they're dropping them so often anyway hopefully that's not all we're going to find today but we'll see how we go now you probably won't better hear this because i have got my headphones on there is a bit of traffic noise if we get close to the road but <laughs> anyway got a good signal here 25 26 23 just in that spot there and there is a few other grunty signals around but we're gonna chase this one and see what it is is it gonna be a bit of a little washer or sort of the right numbers for a washer <laughs> what is that I don't like the look of that it's a bit of an old can there or something but surely that is not our target why would that ring up at 23 well I'll get rid of that and we'll see if there's anything else here Whatever we were chasing is still in the hole, so 
Um, there it will be. That'll be the top of the can. <laughs> oh dear, that's a bit of a downfall, but that was our signal. So, I'll check around again, of course, but I reckon that'll be it. So, bit of a disappointment. Anyway, <laughs> keep going. Got a pretty shallow 2021 here, so we're going to see what it is. If I don't film it, I'll be kicking myself. If I do, it's just going to be a bit of rubbish. So, here we go. We should have, by all rights, got it out. Where has it gone? Well, she's disappeared. I reckon she was pretty close to the surface. So... Just in here somewhere. So, I'll use a stick because it's pretty muddy. <laughs> Don't want to get too muddy hands. Let's see if we can need a better stick. See if we can see anything here. Well, I cannot see anything so we're going to have to upgrade our stick to a pinpoint <laughs> where's it gone just in there don't tell me it's another bullet I've already found about five or six of them no, she's a rivet, but she's an unused one, so hasn't been used that one. Anyway, it's not a bad sign, so see if there's any other signals around. And here's the next one I'm going to dig, if I can find it again. scratchy but sort of a bit hard to pinpoint so maybe it's a bit of an odd shape thing so we'll see what's down here uh, I think it was about oops, three bars down uh, looking dead everywhere here Some roots or something holding us up but, out of that hole, we have got a bit of a brick. So, you know, that's not a bad sign. So, we'll see if we've got something other than a brick out. Hope we've flicked it to Darwin. Sounds pretty nice now, and she's sort of underneath where that brick came from, so I'll go a bit deeper and see if, and I've just seen something I don't like the look of at all, that <laughs> jolly little washer, I think she's dropped down again, anyway. I'll get that out and then check the hole, but I'm sure that's what it will be. Little washer. Well, as you can see, I'm right near the road here and just digging rubbish. So <laughs> it's a bit infuriating. And not even old rubbish at that. I mean, sort of old rubbish. But this is an interesting one <laughs> a teacup with a bottle in it and a little garden. <laughs> a little moss garden so you know it's not old but 
What is it? Not even, hasn't even got anything there. And a screw top bottle and a chip. So, <laughs> the things you find. But anyway, little garden in there. <laughs> so, I'm sort of getting low on time, so I'm going to head over to where I found the shilling last time. I've sort of been, got a bit distracted, so we'll see if there's anything more over there, but you know, I've just been finding rubbish, so <laughs> we'll head over that way, I think. Well, I've had a pretty quiet afternoon. Um, found a musket ball and you know, a little buckle thingy. Nothing too good, so but we have got a beautiful 22 number here and it's just under the surface so let's hope it's something good. I'm rather doubtful though. In fact I'm very doubtful. But it's probably going to be a last try, chance of getting anything and we have got a piece of aluminium I think yep she's a old tube <laughs> so that's sort of been my day but that happens so old tube but I did miss it last time but you know I didn't cover everywhere so um we may get a few more targets in and then we'll have to go so um, anyway, well, they say when it rains it pours, and after that tube I found a couple more. So, I've got another... Good sort of numbers here, but, you know, I'm not very optimistic. <laughs> so, I hope I'll get surprised, but they are a bit different numbers, but then again, Tubes are all different shapes. That one's rolled up. <laughs> so it's actually still got the cap on that one. Let's see if we can unroll it. They've been Colgate the other ones, but this one might be different. I'm trying to do this with so that's a pinnacle. Green antiseptic ointment. So, don't know how old that is, but not that old. I mean, not super old. Anyway, there's a bit of a rubbishy, dumpy sort of area here, made in Melbourne. Anyway, <laughs> I was just about to give up, you know, it's really overcast and I'm just about out of time. Over there is where I got the shilling. And you know, I've been all through all these bushes, but I thought I'd do the open areas because I sort of, you know, didn't do them that well. I sort of was more focusing under all the scrub. Anyway, 17 here. And I wasn't that hopeful, but no sunlight to put this in, but can you see that? Looks rather S-shaped. Can that be a snake? I think it is. And that is the first one I've ever found. So that is absolutely brilliant. And... <laughs> You know, bit of a poor start to the day, and then we've got that, and that just makes it all worthwhile. Look at that beauty. Don't know, do they normally have two heads, or... Can't remember. Anyway, I'll give it a quick clean-up, and we'll see what she looks like. But I may get a shower of rain on my head any minute, so... Give it a clean and we're back in a tick. There we go. What an absolute beauty that is. 
Look at all those scales and detail on that. Absolutely brilliant. Gotta love that. I only wish I had the other bits for it, but <laughs> I've no doubt they're probably not around here. But anyway, that's actually a pretty nice little relic to find. <laughs> Very nice indeed. All that little detail on it, the scales and the the lies there. So I'll try and get a few better photos when I get home, but that is cool as anything, that is. <laughs> so you don't normally want to find snakes out in the bush, but I reckon those ones are pretty cool. Anyway, I'll have a quick you know, that's fired up my energy bank again, and I'll have a quick, you know, bit more of a look around. I'm hoping to find the D bits off that, but I don't think I will. Anyway, that has made my day right there, so jolly good. <laughs>